Hey guys. Oh. Uh, whoops, I had my mic at the wrong spot. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Pixelmon. Um, let's see what shall we call this? Um, I already have a world called Pixelmon. Because as I mentioned in my Happy Wheels video, I've already started this on my own to like kind of get the um the feel of it. So we'll call this Pokecraft. All right, more world options. Cheats on. Now the reason cheats is going to be on is so I can turn keep inventory true, and so I can use the teleportations with my um. What should I call them? The bobbity boobs, the waypoints. We're going to call this Johto. Actually, let's call this Jinto. Johto and Sinnoh, my two favorite regions, two favorite generations. Done and survival. Hardcore, same as survival mode, locked at the hardest difficulty and one lock only. Creative, survival, let's go survival. Alright, create new world, guys. This should be fun. Um, I suppose after I finish this, after I finish Total Insanity 2, which is on hold as of right now, I won't be recording it anymore. Um, because I want to wait till I have a better computer. I will do a regular hardcore Minecraft Let's Play, and I will, actually, I will do a regular Let's Play of Minecraft up until, you know, just regular, my install, you know, some of the normal mods, but nothing that really expands to it, except I might do the hardcore Ender Expansion Pack, we're going to go with, um, Oshawott, and it's going to spawn me underwater, what the hell, it's not very nice, alright. So we're in a jungle area. Where would a bonus chest be? Where the hell would the bonus chest be if it spawned me here? Oh, one thing right off the bat. Game rule keep inventory true. And we're going to actually set this... Okay, it's already on peaceful. The reason this is going to be on peaceful, guys, is because... This isn't going to be, you know, about killing things, slaying mobs, so I don't really want to have to worry about food. If you guys want me to turn it on easy, later on in the game I can, I don't have a problem with it. But for now, we're starting off, we're going to focus on our Pokemon aspects of the game. And we're going to find this freaking bonus chest. Okay, well, we're going to... Game mode one. And now we're in creative. And we're gonna find the bonus chest. What the hell? Where is it? There's some apples. So yeah, I, I'm more than happy with putting it on normal. Um, once stuff gets started. Once we've got some decent Pokemon, and we've got, you know... I found the bonus chest, guys. It was kind of in pieces. It kind of broke. See, we never would have found that, guys. Alright, I think that's all it was going to give us, so we will... Game mode zero. Oops, game mode zero. Going to put this here. Get that there. We're going to move forward. By jumping into the water. Alright, we're going to move this way. Alright. My first objective is going to be to find a Pokemon Center. Because Healing Tables PC, if we find one of the good ones, it'll also have a trade machine. Get back here, Magikarp. As long as you're not level 15, I can fight you. Level 14, perfect. Alright, let's see how much damage we do. 
Not much. I guess I'm a... Uh, you guys can bear with me. You guys can bear with me for our very first battle. Oh, some of you may be wondering, why the hell are you fighting a Magikarp? Yeah, it's easy XP, but these things give shit experience. One thing you guys need to know about Pixelmon if you haven't played it already. Um, most of the Pokemon in this game give really good experience. Like, beating level 22 Ivysaur at a uh, lower level, I think I was around like, at level 16 beat one. Because it was on low health, and it got 20, I think it was either like 22 or 2500 experience. So let's see how much this Magikarp gives us. 249, not bad for a first battle. So as you guys can see, it's pretty good. That'll boost us up to level 8, which is very good. That's a great starting level. And this will give us advantage on some of the lower levels. And hopefully we don't have anything challenge us and knock us out before we can find a Pokemon Center. Because that would be bad. That would kind of defeat the purpose of Pixelmon if we didn't have an active Pokemon. Fortunately, we don't wipe out when our Pokemon gets knocked out and sent back to our spawn. That is deep. I'm not going to go down there. Got a... Ooh, Apricorn. Now, will you actually give me a second Apricorn if I break you down? Nope, you'll just give me one. I don't like how they did that. I guess it was what the hell. Lava, why? I had liked it more when apricorn trees actually gave you a second apricorn when you broke them. It was really, really useful. Especially when you're starting out making an apricot form. Apricot, apricorn. Yeah, I don't know why I said apricot. I'm going crazy, guys. Alright, give me that. I see another apricorn tree up here. Another white. Good. My main ones that I'm going to be using in the beginning are probably going to be um, yellow, black, and red. Make some level balls that way, because, you know, more than likely, my Pokemon will be fairly high level before I'm actually able to catch anything. Because... It requires a lot of stuff to be able to make Pokeballs. Where'd your feathers go? Where'd your feathers go? There they are. But anyways, so red, yellow, and black are going to allow me to make level balls, which are going to be perfect for that exact thing. We're going to go... Oops, daisies. We're going to go towards these plains and search for a Pokemon Center. Because that'll probably have the greatest chance. I mean, that's where I found most of my Pokemon Centers in my other playthroughs. Or at least the bigger ones have been in the plains. The smaller ones are kind of in the forest and stuff from what I've seen. Or the smaller ones, they still have healing tables. But they don't have as many, which, I mean, for a single player playthrough or even two player. Like you get a friend in here, you won't really need more than one. To be honest, I wouldn't even need a bigger one, really. Because, really, the only thing the bigger one has that the smaller one doesn't... Oh, I would love to catch that. Is a trading thing. Which, obviously, we're not going to need because it's most likely only going to be me in this. But, it'd still be cool to have at the event that I get to play with somebody else if we want to trade. Or if I need to trade to evolve something like a Gengar or something. I can... That would be nice. See, apricot. Oh my god, I'm going to call them apricots, and I'm going to just annoy the hell out of myself. Apricorn trees. There's more green, and that's blue. Of course, they also seem to be... Pokemon centers seem to be fairly common. And, uh... How did I do this? How do I change the... There we go. So, um... Wow, don't see any Pokemon Centers in range right now, guys. Wow, what a... What a doozy. That's unfortunate. So we're just going to go this way. We're going to collect as many Apricorns as we can. And hopefully we will eventually find a Pokemon Center. Hopefully it won't take the entire episode to find one. Because I would kind of like to show it off a little bit. Get some battling done. Hello, Pichotto. You're a bit, you're too strong for me. A lot too strong for me. 
Ooh, red, yes, yes, no, red, 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 where'd you go? Oh, I got you. I'm gonna actually, I don't need all this stuff. I'm gonna put these down here. No. You guys get down here. Shift click. That way I can tell if I picked up the app corner or not, and I can keep an eye on how many of each I have. Alright, there's another green. Should put this up to three. Got it. Alright, continuing on, there's another red. There's another pink. Let me grab this real quick. Three more. No. Okay. And Pidgey, what level are you? Four. Oh, we'll fight you. Try to get some experience. One thing I noticed when I played this is that if you uh, do something bad, like teach your Oshawott, ooh, black, yes, um, razor shell, and you know how, you know, if you'd forgotten, you accidentally hit, no, I don't want to learn this, when it evolves into Duot, it learns it at uh, 17 as well. Well, Pixamon, if you teach it to your Oshawott, and then don't teach it to your Duot, you don't get the move. And that's really upsetting because that's 75 damage with like 95 accuracy, which is one of its best moves. It is also its signature move. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. Why, Swine, no boy. Yeah, you just keep using Endure, but it's really a tragedy because it doesn't even get to keep its signature move. Give me that black. Come on, give it to me. A oh, little bit of lag. One thing I noticed is that this doesn't lag very much, which is really nice. I mean, especially compared to all the lag I'm used to getting in Total Insanity. You know, no lag, very little lag, I shouldn't say no lag, because as you guys can tell, it does lag a little bit every once in a while. It's very nice to not, not have very much lag. Still don't see any Pokemon centers. We'll be able to see them because they're made out of wool, so you'll just see like a bunch of red on the screen. Is that a tree? Yep, apricorn tree. Two, actually. Green. And there was one up here. Another green. Awesome. Where did it go? Um, I would like that apricorn. Could I please have it? Oh, there it is. Thank you, game. Hello, Pilo Swine. Please don't mess with me. Please don't mess with me like your little swine I'm friend did. Ooh, ghastly. I'd like that. I know I was playing by myself yesterday, guys. I got really upset. Found a Snivy, and I was going to catch it. And then it was only level 9, and level 16 Poliwag got in a battle with it. And it was so close, like the Poliwag only had like a little HP left. But since it was faster, it knocked out the Snivy, and yeah, I didn't get the Snivy, and I was really sad. And that's why wild Pokemon battles aren't always the best things. The white. We're going to try to stick to the forest. Ooh, lucky block. Yes, I still have lucky block installed. Oh my god, we got the book. All the things we could have gotten, we got the book. I've gotten a few mods installed, like Rod and Flesh Leather, obviously. I've got my mini map one on. I've got the backpack. Better furnaces. Um... Hats, I believe, I have installed. Familiar abilities. Maybe I can't do anything because I don't actually have a hat yet. I've also got battle gear installed, which was a mistake because I don't have battle gear inventory. So, plus they both use the R key, which is no bueno. We we're reaching the edge here. We need to go along this. So I actually need to remember to take battle gear out of this. That way I don't have that issue because it's really annoying when I gotta throw my Pokemon out. 
and then it switches to the battle gear inventory, but I can't put anything in battle gear inventory. Why would you do this to me, right? I can't, I'm just trying to get apricorns. Good thing about this is, is you have a better chance for escape. If this were an actual Pokemon game, I probably would never be able to escape because the Raticate is so much faster than my Oshawott. Especially with it having an evolution stage difference and an 11, 11, an 11 level difference. Now, I know evolution stages don't always matter, like... A level 20 Jew dude or Graver might not be faster than my Oshawott. Simply because, you know, it's rock type. Rock types are generally slow. But when it's a Pokemon that has a fairly decent speed to begin with. Did we get that Apricorn? I think we did. And it evolves. It starts to be a problem. Wow, we're not having very much luck right now. As far as finding a Pokemon Center goes, still not seeing one. See an Apricorn down there. I think it's a green one. No white. Couldn't tell. Hmm. Oh! I see red! I see Pokemon Center, I believe. You guys see that on the map? That red? Hi, Magnemite. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, Magnemite. Oh no. I really hope that's a Pokemon Center, guys. If not, I think it is. I can't really see. Oh, I see red. I see white. That indeed is a Pokemon Center. It appears to be one of the smaller ones. No matter. Perfectly fine with that. Ah. Uh, kind of in the ground. I hate when they spawn like this. You gotta... This the front or back? Where's the front hat? Over there? Okay. Front's actually over here. Let's unearth this. Excuse me. And we've made it to the Pokemon Center. As you can tell, this one is very... Very small. This is actually the smallest one I've seen. So let's heal Oshwat. Oshwat has been healed. This one doesn't have a Pokeball in it. Set a waypoint, call it home. Alright, beautiful. Any other Poke Centers on the map? No, okay. We got Oshwat healed. We're not going to really do anything with our home yet. We're going to continue to explore. Since we've got Keep Inventory on, we don't have to worry about dying and losing all our Apricorns. They're on Flesh, which will be useful. So we're going to go... You, you okay there, Baldor? We're going to go this way. We're going to try to find a bigger Pokemon Center. I'm not trying to be greedy, but that one is pretty small and is definitely not big enough to really house me because I like to keep lots of chests I like to organize my stuff very well I think that's eradicate up there can't really tell from this distance though is I right? I was I know my Pokemans I know them very well oh come on Get up there. Oh, come on. Come on. Up the mountain we go. Wow, guys, this is really hard work. Just climbing a mountain. Just to get over it. Well, I mean, it's kind of what you gotta do. Gotta climb a mountain to get over it. Doesn't just move out your way. So we cut through here, possibly. I don't wanna really risk it. Not work out. Oh, Scorpy. Okay, we appear to be approaching the top. Whoa, hello, Onyx. Where are you today? Oh, 31. I'm not going to mess with you. There's a person up here. Nope, I'm just kidding. That's a Basharp. 
Snorlax up here. Snorlaxes drop apples, which would be useful for getting food if they weren't such a high level. So he's probably around level 40. 47. Jesus. Anything yet? Don't see anything. I wish there was a way we could zoom out even more. But there's not. Is that a shell gun? Yeah. Hello, shell gun. Shell gun, why? You're a dick, shell gun. Pumpkins, I'll grab some of these. In case we want to make a pumpkin farm, you know, jack lanterns and such. Pumpkin pies. Alright, so this is a fairly good start. Oops, the daisies. Alright guys, well I think I'm going to end this episode here. I'll get to recording the next one and we will continue trying to find a bigger Pokemon Center. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye everyone.